Hi, I'm Mark, coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, let's see. It's been a rough one trying to make this video because uh, we got the ruling back on the 20th. Uh, it was due by the 15th, so we're a little bit uh, late on that. The ruling came back from Judge Sulka, and he ruled that our claim that, that the declaratory ruling is vague and should be void because it is vague. He ruled that he would not hear that in his court. Uh, it took 30 days to make that ruling, and we were not pleased with that at first. And I, I'm not sure I absolutely understand it at this point, because if when I read through the declaratory ruling, it seems totally vague to me, and I don't see how they could possibly make me a felon for keeping a pig that uh, they are going to say that's that's legal today, but could be legal illegal tomorrow. The ninth characteristic is other characteristics not currently known to the DNR. So that means they can they can bring they can pull something out of the out of the air and uh, make me a felon with it. So I think it's vague, but he said it wasn't. And over the last few days, I've I've wrestled with that and uh, where I am with that now. And, and I could be wrong on this. I could be wrong. That's why this is difficult, because I want to bring this information to you. A lot of people are emailing me, wanting to know what's going on. This is what I know. He would not hear the case in his court. He said we did not have standing to have this thrown out on vagueness. I'm not sure I understand that, but he did say that we have standing on there was five other issues. And by the way, uh, bakersgreenacres.com, uh, my wife did a blog on it. Maybe she understands it better than I do. And she posted his opinion. So I, I would encourage you to go there and look at that. What I did is I sat down with the opinion and I sat down with the declaratory ruling side by side. And it starts to make sense to me. But what I see in his opinion is a roadmap to go to court. And Keep in mind, we haven't argued this case on its merits. The only thing we have done is, is said that it's vague and we want it thrown out. My lawyer says that we were going for the, the grand slam and we struck out. And that doesn't mean we're out. It means we just struck out one, you know, for one at bat, if you want to use a uh, baseball, you know, scenario. But... Uh, so here we go. Uh, we've got five counties that we're going to go to court in. Gogebic County, Barriga County, Marquette County, Sheboygan County, and Misaki County. Misaki County is my county. Uh, we, it'll be several more weeks before we have our planning meeting because uh, there's, there's 21 days for either our side or the, the uh, Attorney General's side to approach the judge and say, please reconsider. We don't think we're going to do that. We don't want to waste that time. We think that the judge has, has done a, uh, a, a King Solomon move here. He's asking us to go through a little bit more pain. But in a court of law, when our lawyers can freely ask the questions of these people that have put together this declaratory ruling, and if you haven't read that, go ahead and read it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, they're going to ask them questions as to why they have done this and what their thinking was on this. Just a recap, the Michigan DNR is a regulatory agency. A regulatory agency. That's like the state police. State police does not make the speed limit. Right? They, they're not the ones that wrote the laws about armed robbery. They enforce it. Same thing with the DNR. They don't write the, the rule book as far as uh, hunting procedures go. Um, but they enforce it, and that is their job. Not to make law, but to enforce law. In this case, they have made law. The DNR has come out and said, if you have these pigs, uh, if you have a pig with a straight tail or a curly tail, it's got to be gone by April 1st. And this is this year. If you have a pig with a, a straight ear or a floppy ear, oh, that's illegal. Got to get rid of that. And then the ninth characteristic is other characteristics not currently known to the DNR. And that, that's, I, I think that's a bit vague. But maybe the judge is thinking, well, it isn't vague, Mark. It covers every pig on the planet. How can that be vague? Maybe that's his thinking. I don't know. But anyway, um, so we're going to court in those counties, and we will have a, uh, 
a lot of questions to ask. We are also planning to go back to deposition and some of the people that we did not have time to depose uh, earlier this year, we will pull them in and depose them as well. We even plan to go to uh, an, out of, an out of state location to, to uh, depose several people that the uh, DNR has relied on for expert testimony. Um, <clears throat> remember uh, what Mark Twain said, an expert is a guy from the next town over, right? So we're going to go to the next town over and we're going to question these guys and we're going to see if their testimony lines up with what the DNR is saying. I don't think it does because we read their book and it doesn't, but we want it from their lips. Make no mistake, we are going back to court and we want to have our ducks completely in a row. Uh, we don't want to half step this or cut uh, lightly on this. We're going to cut very deep and we're going to have all of our information lined up. Um, all right, uh, that takes dollars, so I'm coming to you again. I need, I need donations for uh, lawyers' fees and our lobbyists and um, hotels and all the other stuff that we have to cover on this whole thing. Um, you know, I've, I've kind of turned into a full-time uh, whatever I do here, and I do have a farm to run here, and it's, it's sometimes it's taken a toll on the farm. And uh, I, we're going into winter right now, so I have not had as much time to pursue the pig issue as, as I would have liked to. I had to take care of business here on the farm. So I apologize that I've been remiss in my... Uh, by anyone can farm videos, but we have done on the bright side. We have done some anyone can farm uh, uh, work. Uh, we do have a website. I encourage you to all go look at that. It's anyonecanfarm.com, or you can go to bakersgreenacres.com, and there's a tab where you can look at it and you can get an idea of where we're going with this thing. But the idea is to get more people to raise their hand and say, "Yeah, I'm a farmer," and that way. Um, things like this won't happen. You know, we're all in this together. Any, any illegal or unfair legislation that comes down is going to hurt farmers. You know, it needs, there needs to be a lot more of us to just say, no, nah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think we're going to do this. This doesn't make sense. You know, you guys try again. Try again, okay? That's what we need to be. Uh, we need to be a very united voice on this. Okay, uh, there's a lot more information, but I, I just want to keep this short so... I can get it up. I've made many attempts to get this video done, but it's been difficult because there's uh, there's so much that's here. I encourage you to go to our site and look at the judge's opinion paper, and also pull down that declaratory ruling. Um, the power the power of of social media is unbelievable. I'm going to ask you again to share this video. Because people that have shared our videos have started kind of a, a chain reaction in certain parts of, of the country. And make no mistake, I'm coming to you from a little town in northern Michigan, but this is coming to you as well. And uh, right now they're, they're saying that our pigs are invasive species. If they get away with this, they can apply that criteria to any animal they want. Because they're saying our pigs are invasive because they're not native to the state of Michigan. There's not a pig that is native to the state of Michigan or any other state in the United States. Not even in North America there's no pigs, right? It's something that was brought from Europe. <clears throat> Remember the classifications. I'm going to run them by you again. You have wild pigs. Wild pig would be something that's in Borneo. <clears throat> that is like a wild deer or a wild squirrel that was here when the pilgrims got here. They didn't bring uh, squirrels with them from, well, I probably ought to check my, uh, <clears throat> my statement there, but deer, I know they didn't bring deer with them. So um, those are wild, right? We have no wild pigs in Michigan. We have no wild pigs in the United States, all right? Feral is an animal that was domesticated <clears throat> and was either... Um, escaped or abandoned, and then it rewilds itself, all right? It rewilds itself. It becomes like a, a feral dog in a city. It just adapts so it can uh, survive. <clears throat> Anything can become feral. Even people can become feral, all right? And then you have domesticated, all right? Domesticated, our pigs 
We raise Mangalitsa and Russian Cross, or as, as near as we know our pigs, uh, the sows that we use are Russian. We really don't know. I didn't get papers on them or anything, but they kind of look Russian. Um, way, way back, those pigs came from some place in Europe where they were bred for, the Mangalitsa was bred for fat, and uh, the Russians were bred for hardiness and red meat, I guess. And they were brought to this country, and, you know, they've, They've gone between uh, farms and people for as many years as our, our country has been in operation. Uh, now, if my pigs were to get away, let's say, and get out into the woods, they could become feral, right? My Mangalitsa pigs could, my Russians could. I can't say one would do any better than the other. I don't think a, a pig could actually maintain here in northern Michigan because a pig is a what's called a porcine and it is not the same as a bear. A bear will slow down its metabolism and actually hibernate, find a place and slow its whole system right down and, and live off of its fat store for months. A pig can't do that. Pigs got to have calories. I've had pigs out here that we've slowed down their feeding in the winter time and they lose condition really really fast. All right, even if they're kept warm and, and kept with uh, with what we thought was adequate uh, cal caloric intake, they will, and, and they would never make it through a winter without food. And there's, you know, food's not just growing every place out in the woods. It, it really isn't. Uh, there's no farming going on here in northern Michigan in the wintertime. Everything is uh, covered with snow. So I really don't think that they would last up here in northern Michigan. Down in Louisiana, maybe. I don't know. I don't live down there, and I'm not fighting that case. Anyway, anyone can farm, and I hope you do. Um, please stay informed, stay in touch, and as soon as there's more information, I will get it to you. Please don't le lose steam on this. Stay engaged on this. We still need people to call the governor's office and express their outrage over this. Call the DNR and tell them what you think. Um, if you think I'm all wet, tell me too. Remember, anyone can farm and I hope you do. Good night.